Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today I'm going to show you how to bond copper, brass and aluminum without soldering or brazing. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech and today we're going to go over HVAC Super Pro a solution to solderless bonding for copper, brass, and aluminum, as well as a demonstration on how to use it. HVAC Super Pro claims this 1.85 ounce bottle makes approximately 200 bonds on half inch pipe. HVAC Super Pro makes the same number of bonds as a pound and a half of braze at approximately 25% of the cost of 15% silver braze. HVAC Super Pro is a solution compatible with all refrigerants and oils in the HVACR market. It can hold 850 PSI of refrigerant pressure in 12 minutes after bonding and 20 minutes for aluminum. Once 12 to 20 minutes has passed, depending on the type of metal that you're using, you are now ready for a vacuum or pressure test. The solution can hold 1200 PSI of pressure when it is fully cured in two hours. HVAC Super Pro has a temperature range of negative 65 degrees Fahrenheit to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 54 degrees Celsius to 176 degrees Celsius. HVAC Super Pro comes in a kit with a 1.85 ounce bottle and 60 grit sandpaper. Applying Super Pro really is as simple as one, two, three. Before we can begin our demonstration, Let's start with safety, as safety always comes first. Wear gloves, as this can cause skin irritation, and wear eye protection. This solution has quite a smell to it, so wearing a respiratory mask would not be a bad idea. This tiny bottle sure beats carrying around your bee tank and eliminates the risk of fires, burns, or melting components. A fire guard is necessary during torch operations, and this turns a two-man job into one. If so far you are enjoying this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. In today's demonstration, we are going to be bonding copper, and this can be achieved in three easy steps. Step one is to clean the pipe and connector with 60 grit sandpaper. We are going to sand down the outside of our pipe. and the inside of our fittings. It's actually recommended that you don't wipe off the excess dust after sanding. Step number two is to apply the solution. I did cover my workspace with plastic as I don't want the solution to get on anything. And for smaller pipe, all you can do is apply a bead around the outside edge and for your connector you apply a bead on the inside edge and then just put the pipes together you can wipe off the excess and you're done if you're using a connector such as an elbow or a T it is recommended that you fit it into place in the first 10 seconds as this will bond in 12 seconds so you have a short amount of time to work with this. After you made your connection and it's in place it is recommended that you'd make each connection one by one and give each connection three to five minutes to solidify completely before moving on to your next fitting. Step number three would have been as you put your connector onto your pipe you will hold it down for five seconds. From there, just follow the steps explained previous, and you're good to go. For larger pipes, it's recommended that you spread the solution for the outside of the pipe and the inside of the fitting. Make your connection, hold it down for five seconds. Do not disturb it. You can wipe off the excess. Give it three to five minutes 
and you can move on to your next fitting. Personally, I have never used this on a refrigerant line, but I have used this for drain lines, so I could definitely say this works great with water. This is perfect for tight spaces such as in the ceiling or inside a wall where it's super tight where you really don't want to be lighting a torch. The connection is super clean and it looks great. And that's what I call a beautiful thing. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.